<sighs> I won't be wearing that one. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Okay, so uh, we're back at it again, home from our vacation, Yay! back to our either daily or every other day vlogs. And honestly, I'm thinking that as we as we get into the holidays, we're going to be doing the 12 days of keto. Yeah. The vlogs will probably be two-day vlogs. So we'll probably right. have like three or four a week because when live stream, keto on the couch, recipe videos, other things, like that's a lot Yay! in the midst of all the holidays. So let us know down in the comment section. Do you guys like it when we do like, I know it makes them longer and we do get the occasional person goes, your videos are too long. Sorry. Well, I mean... This is our family, right? Just, and, just only and watch enough minutes that you're comfortable with. Right. <laughs> so let us know if you like it when we do over the two day and we show you some of the things we do in our food and we kind of talk about what's going on with, you know, our thought process and everything. Right now we are starting the day with coffee. Now I have not told you what's in here. No. This is a, this is, it's okay if you miss this one because okay. it's subtle and you haven't had it in a long time. Okay. Can you figure out, we've got one egg. Right. Each. Okay. And then a scoop of a keto chow. Now this, this is a tough one. I actually thought that it was mocha. Yeah, it's actually eggnog. Really? But I was thinking, but it goes good in coffee, right? It does. Right? It, well, it, if you have um, problems with some of the eggnog flavors, yeah. it doesn't overwhelm the cup of coffee. And that's why I said it's going to be subtle Just because the rich. coffee is kind of taking in some of those eggnog flavors and stuff. And it's one scoop between the two. Now, I love the eggnog keto chow. Yeah. But I do find, because I was a traditional eggnog, we actually have a, a recipe, recipe for a keto version of eggnog. I will leave a link for that it's up here. It's good. I don't know if it's a video. So if it's not a video, the link for the recipe is down below. Right. Okay. But, I think it was a recipe. Um, I love eggnog, but I, I like spicy eggnog. I need lots of nutmeg in yeah, there. Yeah, this is not need, spicy. And, and so when I make the keto chow eggnog, I generally am adding a bunch more nutmeg and, and clove and stuff into you know it to it, really amp that flavor up. It turned the coffee into hot chocolate mm -hmm. as far as I'm concerned. It doesn't taste as coffee-ish. It yeah. tastes more hot chocolatey, which I'm good with. Yeah. Now, one thing I do, we, I've seen a couple comments that are like, a whole scoop of keto chow in your coffee. You got to really, what I'm doing is I'm doing one scoop of keto chow this is to not the entire pot of coffee. Yeah, this is not an appropriate cup. I would not put a scoop of keto chow into a 12 ounce cup of coffee because it's going to become sludge. That's, you right. need a lot more liquid. But what we do is one scoop for the entire pot and then the pot gets split between the two of us because whoever came up with the idea that an actual cup of coffee is five or six ounces. Don't I, know us. I, I don't know who that person is. So, uh, you want to do your present? Yes! Okay, so we So got... it is day four. Yep, we just finished day three. Oh, no, four. that's for me, remember? Oh. <laughs> You're going to open your own presents. I'm going to open my own present. Let's see. It's a shirt. This is more than $5. I got a shirt, too. It is not more than $5. <laughs> Crushing oh! it! Well, when we were out shopping Jaw. for Black Friday, we bought matching pajama pants because we always yes. like to have matching pajamas on Christmas, just the two of us. It's like we're our nerdy. thing. And so we had bought. I love it. At Hot Topic, they were like, buy one, get one free. So we bought pants. And I bought Slytherin and you bought Ravenclaw. 
but it didn't come with a matching shirt and I figured this is like a Christmassy. Well, did you get you a matching shirt? No. You don't have one? Of for course I did. Oh. <laughs> Well, this is awesome. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. Because, yeah, I'm Ravenclaw. And Joe just decided he's Slytherin. Yeah. He just likes it. I like it, too, because I love Snape. Mm -hmm. Not so much Draco, yeah. but Snape. I mean, Draco was okay. He pulled it out in the end. I uh, don't know. I have another shirt. I am going to assume, because I did not order this, but I have seen it and said I wanted it. On your wish list? So I think I put this on my Elfster, your Elfster wish list. So I believe this came from my Elfster. I don't know who it is. A cow, a pig, and a chicken walk into a barbecue. The end. Oh my gosh. I freaking like, love that's that. Me, right? That and is so awesome. So I remember seeing it on Amazon. So I'm pretty sure I put it on my Amazon thank wish list. Thank you, Elfster. But if this is from one of our well Elfsters, thank you. Because um, it didn't come with like a gift tag or anything yeah. like that. So oh my gosh. That is so is that, stinking cute. That is cute. completely me. I love that I love so that. much. Oh, that's great. So um, this is a busy day because we've been gone for five days. Um... We gotta put the tree up. We, we gotta get the tree out. Decorating. And then it's kind of funny, like it was odd for us because on vacation, we even usually when we go RVing, we're up early. Yeah. And this week we were like getting up at eight o'clock. I think part of it was normally we, we want to get up. We're up at like 6 30, 7 o'clock. The sun's up, we're getting up and we're going to hit the water, hit whatever right. activity when we're doing camping. But this week, we were getting up to 40 degree temperatures and I'm like, there is no chance I'm going in that water. Maybe at noon when the sun right. is up and it's like 70 degrees out there. Well, some of it too was there's a difference when you're like, I've got two days and you have five days. Yeah. When we had five days, it was like you were able to kind of tarry in the moment. I think that that is really smart. I think it's good to set aside like a good chunk of time because you, you approach the day yeah, differently. Especially when you have these short days. But of course we come home and up and at them at 6 30, 7 o'clock in the Rare morning. To go. And I'm like, I don't want to be up. I, I want today's Saturday. I want to sleep. I don't even feel what day it is. But I'm out of, of day feeling. We have a lot of work to do because uh, so Number one priority is get all of the raw footage off of iPhone, like off of the cloud, all the raw footage off of my GoPro, all the raw footage off of this camera, get it into my computer, backed up to the NAS server and backed up to the cloud before I accidentally delete stuff like I did for Kentucky. That's the number one thing. Did you notice that basically all of our animals were disappointed that we came home? I know, because they had such a good time with Becky. Oh my gosh, so there are no dogs allowed at the park that we're at. And that happens a lot in camping. Like they can be in the RV, but they can't be you out can and walk, about. You can walk them around, but like we always go to water places and they can't go to the water. And and it's like, it, it feels mean. To, yeah. to bring her and then be like, you have to stay in the RV for this. Like, she yeah. does not understand that, like, why can't I leave the campsite, right? right. So, Becky um, and the boys, because that's that's the best part, is that Elijah and Jonathan, our nephews, were also there to care for the animals. So, like, she did, like, continuing education with Grayson. I think he's learned a whole bunch of new words. Mm -hmm. And she cared for the kitty cats so well. And Tabitha was like, oh, you're home? Because... She got to play with the kiddos. Right. Well, she got to play with the kids. She got to play with Bo. She got to play with their dog, Casey. And, and their I understand rabbits and... that she actually beheld a, a a first from our chickens. We missed a first. We we missed well, her first steps. Well, I don't know. So I, I actually speak. found the first. I don't think she knew about this one. But, yeah, she did say that, hey, the chickens are really cool, but now I know I wouldn't want them, which is good. Some, it's like, yes. hey, let's borrow a chicken. To me, the chickens are the easiest pet we have to take care of because I've set them up to be self-feeding and yeah. self-watering. We have a 55-gallon drum that collects rainwater. That waters them. And then a 40-pound bag of food goes in their things, and you can feed them once every two weeks, and they're good. And then we give them their occasional scraps and stuff like that. But we do have the three babies who refuse to roost in yes. one of the hen houses at night. They roost up on like a fence so they really are free range chickens because yeah. no matter what every night i usually have to go out and get them off the fence put them into the box and then they're good Daddy but they won't night -night. go in there yeah but we were gone for five days and i couldn't ask becky go wrangle three chickens no after they've really gone to sleep so it's got to be like after nine o'clock because if you try to do it when the sun goes down they're still they're not kind ready of awake. so anyway i came home to find 
an a Easter green egg. egg. So and this we is a baby. So them. this is we know. But so you know how this is already a long vlog. You know how they say that when you buy an Easter egg or chicken, and all three of these are Easter egg and chickens, there is like a 0.5% chance that they don't lay green eggs. Yes. I have a feeling we've got one of those. The because .5. this one is out there this morning. And this is our normal eggs. Is this size. Yeah. And so usually their first egg is tiny. And so this one is out there and you can see it's the same size as this Easter egg one. So it's going to kind of stink if one of my colored egg layers is, is not giving me colored eggs. Well, some of these are... But, it's not like a difference in taste. Well, and it's like a cross breed. Sometimes when you mix the breeds, you don't get control over. Yeah, and you that's know, why it's like getting. a one percent chance that they exactly. don't lay that colored egg. But but you get colors on the chicken that are amazing. Yeah, like if you find out that it is, um, you know, Phoebe or black chicken you won't care about what color her eggs are no. because she is gorgeous yeah. well she she looks black when you look at her from afar but she's got but like then you see her she's got that green shimmery. shine and the red shine she's got just got awesome shines all over yeah so back to so that number one is get all the videos off before i delete raw footage yes uh you need to preview and then you need to premiere okay. our Black Friday vlog that was supposed to go up on Thursday, but there was a problem with it, and, and we the internet trapped. was too slow to re-upload it. was re the Bermuda it. Triangle, which was perfect for our family trip, but terrible for anything else. Any kind of work, which is probably a good thing. Um, from there, I need to edit a vlog, and then we're going to do, because this this week, I've got a bunch of stuff. We've got a staff Christmas party on that kind of stuff. We, we're starting a new series in Christmas. So I have a lot of work to do over this coming week, plus all the cutting. So um, we're going to do skirt steak, and that's great. We're going to do flank steak today from the new beef. <gasps> we get to taste it. So we're going to do flank steak today because that's a quick cook. Yeah, it is. And then I've got a prime rib roast that is defrosting. That'll take a couple days, and then we're going to smoke that and sous vide that. That'll be, and then... Um, I'm going to meal prep some chili because I do have a package of, of pork left over from the trip. So we need to use that up. So I pulled out two packages of the ground beef and we're going to make our keto chow chili because that's a good meal prep. Like, hey, especially tomorrow, Sunday, yeah. not a day that we have a lot of time to nope. do cooking. So I always think the chili is the best the next day anyway. So we're going to meal prep that chili. This way we have it. I'm like, hey, I don't feel like cooking. There we go, we're gonna have the chili and then we can go from there. I love it. So let's get this day started. We also have to go to BJ's. Wonder Twins, activate. We wanna get some more like Topo Chico or some type of sparking seltzer water because we found we really like that. Yeah. And then everything else that needs to be done. I have a present for you. You do? Figure you may want some breakfast. I do want some breakfast. How did you know? Made it last night. <gasps> Purse bacon. Purse bacon. Here, you wanna, you wanna give your baby a present. You see this? <laughs> Good girl. Is she going to her cage? No, she's gonna eat it right here. She's like, this just came out of the freezer. It's too cold for me. Do you have any more? <laughs> she wants my purse bacon. You can't have the purse bacon. You can have a bone. That's just for you. There's my Tabitha into her crate with her bone where none of the kitty cats can touch it. Is that good, baby? Yeah, nice fresh beef bone. It's Christmas decorating time. Am I a trooper? Because- You're always is, a trooper. This is a very small space to like change things out because we still have to finish this room. <laughs> oh, it's looking so pretty already. Yes, I love all these happy memories. I love this. All ornaments from subscribers over the last two years. Heather, I'm thinking of you this morning with all my Zip Fizz ornaments. So uh, we have a bunch of mail at the mailbox. Okay. And I know we need to go to BJ's. Well, the mailbox closes at two o'clock. Okay. You want to kind of pause the Christmas decorating? Yeah. Run to BJ's because we need some water. We do not need any beef. No, we're good on beef. I know you need to drop something off at the church for the Saturday service. Yes. Then we can come back and you can get back into, you know, doing all the Christmas decorating. Joe! What? This just got delivered and I'm going to need you to explain yourself. That... Who is this for? That? Why is it not in a box? It just got wrapped like this. 
That was one of your Christmas presents. <laughs> it is an espresso. Why? Because they do like fancy coffee. Because you like cappuccino and espresso once in a while, and yeah. we have a regular coffee maker. So I figured you would really like that, and it was a really good deal wow. for Black Friday, or actually Cyber Monday. Yeah, they've mailed it just like this. You cannot have it now, though. Don't lose this. It says $10 off your first coffee order. Well, since we're going to BJ's, maybe they'll have some sales on espresso pods. Well, you can look you. for them. But... I'm coming in for a kiss. So we did forget to talk about this morning when we opened up this vlog the scale coming home from a five-day camping trip. I was super happy. So we weighed ourselves last night when we got home, which you probably should not do. But I was actually at the same weight as when I left. I was actually down a half a pound, and you were the same as well, right? No, I was 153 when we left. Okay. And I was 155 coming home. Which but that's I'm, at the end of the day. That's at the end of the day, after a trip, and I know that that will be gone very soon so yeah i'm i'm really impressed with that because we were not like super strict while we were gone now we stayed keto yeah but we did enjoy some of the desserts from just, just made, made keto. keto like the loaf things because we had some in the freezer and you know we're on vacation with the family we were eating creamy ice creams every day i ate a couple of nola bars i ate some of the good loving bars good loving and we just enjoyed ourselves, stayed keto, but didn't really track anything and had more snacks and stuff than we normally do. So I was really excited to come home to that. Now we're back home, so I'm going to get a little bit stricter. What are you eating now? Well, here's the thing. Cheese. I did eat a lot of cheese while we were gone, which did affect my ability to go poop. I know, TMI. But it's it, it was not my normal, like, hey, let's get out of here kind of poops. But it would be really bad to waste the last two slices Aww. of Swiss cheese. You want some? No, I don't. It's so weird. I First of all, I hate Swiss cheese, so <laughs> that's always going to be a hard no. Um, but I did not eat any cheese while we were gone. Yeah. And the reason being is I knew I had kind of a tough reaction with the cheese the last time mm -hmm. that we had a bunch of cheese and I knew I would overindulge and I didn't want to take a chance on feeling yucky during our camping trip. Right. So I felt like that was a really good call for me. I did eat the just made keto. I had some of the good loving bars and we kept it keto, which is what the December challenge is all about. Ho, right. ho, ho, just stay keto. And um, I'm pretty happy. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now is I had two slices of Swiss cheese left. My thing is, is if there's cheese around, I'm going to eat it. If there isn't any cheese, I won't even bother going out and looking for it. And if it's not open, I generally won't eat yeah. it. Yeah. But this was deli Swiss cheese. So I have it basically wrapped around uh, three slices of salami because we had some leftover salami. Salami. From the trip. salami and I love bologna. deli salami, especially the spicy ones. A lot of times I get in Aldi, they have the little mini ones. Oh, They're yeah, I like love those. Thicker. And yeah, we went through like two or three packages of those. But now we're gonna go to BJ's and we need some sparkling water. I think we need some cleaning supplies. We, again, do not need any beef. No, we're good on beef. And then we're gonna come home and I'm gonna start meal prepping. We're having flank steak tonight. So that is like a super quick cook. That's like two minutes on each side out on the Kamado Joe and it just comes out perfect. I have tinsel in my eye. We got mail. <laughs> What'd we get? Let's see. We got a bunch of mail. Don't use your teeth. Aw. This says, Merry Christmas from Montana. Thanks for all you do. From Susan Collette, a.k.a. Susie Moss. Thanks so much. We don't have anything to cut up anything open in this car. Uh-oh. We don't. You took everything out of the car. We don't even use keys. Here we go. Joe's strong like bull. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, how beautiful. Montana. Thank so you cool. so much. That is going to go up on the tree. How did you know I was decorating the tree today? <laughs> Let's put it back in there so it stays what else we got? safe. This oh, oh, oh. is, let's see. Merry Christmas from your Elsa. Yay! Teresa Griffin. Oh, Teresa! You're my elfster? Thank you so much. 
Oh, wow. Uh, it says. Nobody can see it. Heard it was Christmas. Oh, that's awesome. This is my favorite. Thanks, Teresa. I love it. What else do you got? My cool. I have the, the best Elfster. This says, Merry Christmas from your Elfster. Teresa! Oh, you spent too much on me. Wow. Oh. How pretty. Look at this beautiful box. It says, Everfay. Oh, it's the beautiful jewelry. Oh, my gosh. Is this gorgeous. Oh, wait till you see this, Joe. Oh, that's pretty. Is this not gorgeous? Oh, I love this so much, Teresa. Oh my gosh. That is really pretty. This is my kind of joy. Look at that. Isn't that so gorgeous? And it comes with matching earrings. That is so cool. Thank you so much. Wow. That in the back. Wow, the next that's one. I really appreciate it. Look at this fun bag it even has. I love Elfster. What is this? Let's see. Merry Christmas. Enjoy your gift. Teresa. Your oh my goodness. It's my planner. Thank you so much. Mom's planner. I felt like that would fit me to a T. Look at the beautiful pages. I want to know how you're going to coordinate that with my phone. Uh, oh, we'll work it out. But <laughs> you you did too much, Miss Teresa. Thank okay. you so much. How am I going to open this? This is so beautiful. I'm so excited I got my paper planner. Thank you. Look how pretty. Okay. This is from Shauna. Oh, Shauna. We're trying to open it without a knife. Oh, you're strong. <laughs> Merry Christmas, it says. Wait, there's a blue card. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, look at this. She makes beautiful cards. She really does. She's amazing says, with her craft. Deck the halls. Says to oh Anthony, gosh. a fellow card nut. Mary be your uh, Mary be your Christmas peaceful be your home joyful be your family blessed be each one how nice oh my, <gasps> oh my gracious to Rachel and Joe, may you be blessed this Christmas oh how Shana. gorgeous is that, that Shauna you are so talented Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm wow. so excited. Thank you so much, guys. And we got a bag. Do you guys re gift bags? Because we save them and then re gift sure them. It's not labeled to somebody, though. Yeah. <laughs> I've done that before. It's like, love you, Grandma. And you're so like, oh. We do those. What are they? Is it the white elephant gift exchange? Is yeah. That what it's called where you you buy something, everybody puts in a pot, and, and then you go around it. and you can, you can trade with somebody else. So we have that at our staff Christmas party, which is on Monday. And every year, Rachel shows up, presents in a bag. She puts it out there, and she goes, now after you open it, I want the bag back. <laughs> do you guys do that? Like, or is it only my wife that, that says, Probably like, I want the bag? Probably only me. Well, if they're going to throw it out, obviously, if they're taking it home in the bag, take it home. But if it's in the trash, I will, I will, I will dumpster dive for it. Rachel, you were already in the store the other day looking at fleece. There's more fleece. It's the same fleece. They restocked. Well, we went into Walmart because we needed a couple things for kids ministry. And of course, wrapping paper. Rachel walked away from me. And where did I find her? In the fleece pajamas section. And she I didn't like have it. her phone. So I had to like search the entire store to find her. I have my watch. So, um, yeah, we're not always perfect. Sometimes I like a bang. And I saw I know this better. one. Well, here's the thing. I, I can't finish a whole bang anymore. They're just way too sweet. But we tried this one. We've never had this flavor before. It's sweet iced tea. This is probably the best tasting bang I've ever had. Ooh, it, I don't know. It really does taste like regular iced tea. It's not like overly sweet. Like some of the bangs are it just like. It tastes ugh. exactly like Lipton iced tea in the, the can. The canned iced tea. Yeah. But like I took two sips of it to try it. Yep. And it hit my tummy, and right now my tummy's upset. So, it just, everybody reacts differently with bangs. That's right. They just absolutely do. We used to drink them like water. Now I, really, I want to say we have one every two or three months. I liked the sour 
apple You one. like the sour apple. But even just the thought of it right now makes my teeth hurt. Okay, we have our chili all meal prep. So now we can just put this in a container and whenever we wanna have some chili, we have it. Let's go ahead and give this a taste test. Now this is using the ground beef that we got from our cow. Mmm. Perfect. Okay, the Joe Jr. is up to temperature. Got some nice hot coals down there. I got a soap stun on top. We're gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of avocado oil on there so that nothing sticks. And now we're gonna put our flank steak on here and it's gonna be nice and quick. Love hearing that sizzle. So we're gonna go like one or two minutes on each side. Yeah. The house is under construction. Oh my but gosh. But not my, my construction mess. No, it's it Christmas. <laughs> grew up in our living room, in our front room, it's in our yard. Well, in typical Rachel and Joe fashion, we can't work in one room. Like we're supposed to be doing the studio so that everything is ready for keto on the couch on Monday and we have videos to record. We actually have to record the keto crate video. So by the time you see this vlog, that video will be out. So I'll leave a link for it over there. But I guess what we're gonna have to do is just film it here because you're not getting into the studio right now. Not right now. But while we're doing the studio, Rachel's also working in here because she's coming across things in boxes and going, no, that belongs in the kitchen. If I organized better, it would be easier, you know, in and out, like one room, kind of like when you're moving in and you're like, this all goes in the bedroom, this all goes in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, but it's like Christmas. One of the downfalls of living in South Florida is we have lots of what's called palmetto bugs. Yes. Most people would look at them and go, it's a roach. But these these are palmetto bugs. Very similar. And uh, They love cardboard. They love cardboard. And so a lot of them got into our boxes. So all of the boxes have to be opened outside because you never know what you're going to discover. I will say the chickens are enjoying themselves. This came out so stinking good. Yeah. It's flank steak, right? Uh, yes, it's a flank steak from our cow. So again, you we know, should dink. you were worried about like, how is a fresh beef going to taste? It and tastes fantastic. So let's see. I was like, is it going to be wild? Dink. Thank you, cow. Mmm. That's so good. Mm -mm, tastes great. That is really good. Now, we don't usually marinate our flank steak. Sometimes it, we do. I have an amendment. What? It tastes like a whole food steak. Oh, that's, that's a good one. Like. So we don't normally marinate our flank steaks. I mean, once in a while I will, but usually when I do flank steak, it's because I want something quick and easy and they defrost quickly. Right. And then they cook quickly. So all I do is put a bunch of Redmond's garlic pepper on the outside, let it permeate the meat a little bit. I cook it as one big piece over there on the Kamado Joe, and then we just slice it up. And Very tender. It, it comes out perfect every time. We also did taste a little piece of the ground beef from the cow when I was making the chili, and that was really good too. Super awesome. Now let me ask you something. Did it taste like it had any organs in there? It did not, thankfully. So now you wouldn't really get much because I basically told him, take all the ground beef, throw the heart, throw the liver and stuff in there. a couple hundred pounds. So there's like what, 160 something pounds yeah. of ground beef. So the chance that you're gonna taste any of the harder liver you're not, but I don't want any of that to go to waste. No. And if you spread it out among amongst 167 pounds, you're not going to taste it. You're getting slight benefits because, again, it's spread out so much, but at least we're eating the whole thing. We're eating the whole thing. It's like the BBB and E version of Prego. It's in there. <laughs> That's all I need to know. It's in there. Yeah, so I was saying the chickens are just enjoying because we're emptying the boxes like in the backyard and they're just running around chasing each other after roaches and palmetto bugs and ants. They love insects. Yeah, well, of all that's, sorts. that's why we don't have a bunch in the grass. No. But yeah, they do find their way into boxes and stuff. So we're going to finish eating. Go back to, we probably won't finish decorating today. We'll probably like finish that up tomorrow because it's already getting late and I'm working on vlogs and stuff, but it's already five o'clock. Like where's the day gone? Boom, gone. <laughs> well, I wanted something on my head cause you had something on your head. 
One of the cool things about going through Christmas stuff is you find all your cool funny hats. Finding all the funny hats. We have a lot of Christmas hats because of kids ministry, right? Yeah, We're... that's the reason. <laughs> that's the reason why, because kids. <laughs> We are going to close out the vlog. You are doing such an amazing job crispifying this house. Is Christmas, that a word? Christmas-fying? Christmas-fying. I christmas -fying. All right. Although we were still only supposed to be working in the front room, and now the whole house is getting... You know how it leaks out, right? <laughs> it, just, it just sloshes down every corridor and hallway and room. So that flank steak was really good. And filling. It was very filling, probably because, you know... I don't know. I I'm, don't want to eat. I mean, it, but it's only 8 o'clock. It's only three hours later. But we're going to go to bed a little bit earlier than normal. At least we're going to try to go to bed earlier than normal. We because say tomorrow that. is church. I get so excited, though, that I lay in bed and go, go to sleep, Rachel. Go to sleep. <laughs> then you have this many hours until you have to wake up. So you still have time to go to sleep. But then now I'm, now I'm in full conversation. <laughs> so we did, uh, you had some bacon today. I had salami and cheese. Yeah. And then we had our flank steak, which we did put butter on there. And we've had a couple pieces of the Maria Emmerich bread. What did you put in this deliciousness? So I was kind of in the mood for hot chocolate. And keto chow chocolate makes the best hot chocolate. The best hot chocolate. It makes, if you want, we gave some to Michelle just to make hot chocolate. Yeah. Now she's hooked on keto chow. I know, because She's like, it's I'm going to start drinking these every day because yeah. she likes to get protein shakes, but she's like, they all have garbage ingredients. It's true. And I'm like, you're not going to get cleaner than this. You can determine how much fat you want in there. So even for a non-keto person. It's great. It's good for somebody who wants that meal replacement shake because not only are they getting good protein? Not only do they get determined the calories, but we're sneaking in some electrolytes, vitamin, nutrients that they normally wouldn't find right. if you're just going and buying like, you know, some random like premier protein or something like that. Exactly. That you're going to get in the store or something. So I'm happy about that. But I decided instead of just hot chocolate, because I, our almond milk's old. And so I, I didn't want to risk it. Didn't want to waste the keto chow. Never waste the keto chow. So I made a pot of coffee and I did, so we have a tablespoon of butter in each one of these and then a full scoop of keto chow split between the two of us. I and would it, not. And it's a nice chocolatey mocha drink. I would not be upset if you made this in the morning for breakfast. We can do that. We can definitely do that. That sounds like a really delicious breakfast. Thanks, Frosty. <laughs> So tomorrow, we're not vlogging because we've, we've made the decision that unless there's something big going on, like we're on a trip or something like that, we're not going to vlog on Sundays. But we will show you what we're eating because we're having prime rib roast tomorrow. Prime rib roast. So we have the prime rib roast. So that's going to be a delicious. We're going to smoke it first. Then we're going to stick it into the sous vide oven. Are we going to smoke it like a brisket? Smoke? No, we're not going to smoke it like a brisket. And then we do have our chili, so if you want a little snack or something throughout the day, or if you, on Monday, I'm thinking Monday, if there's any left by Monday, we make like chili cheese dogs. If we make pork belly again, can we smoke it like a brisket? Yes. We smoke it like a brisket. Except for, for the time being, we will be eating beef because we have- It's what's for dinner <laughs> and lunch and breakfast. Hey, and you know what? Beef is 10 times healthier than eating pork. I am very pleasantly surprised that it is not at all gamey. That was you what- You were really worried. I was really worried about because, you know, like I've eaten ham and then we've gotten ham from like a farm, you know, recently slaughtered. Right. And it tasted wild to me. Well, here's the thing that when we get the pig that Anthony likes to roast on his birthday. Yeah. That we are literally picking out the pig and then they're slaughtering it and it is, you know, on the barbecue within a few hours. Right. At minimum or at most, it's going to be the next morning where I start injecting it with like moho and stuff like that. And then the next morning it's going on there. So it, it never had a time to like age and cure and all that stuff. Well, so this stuff tasted wonderful. I, I want to say they said there was like a 20 day, you know, hanging period for this cow. So. I appreciate it. So no, I'm, I'm super impressed. I love the way everything came packaged and you know, we are going to have that video coming out on, on what our whole experience was. Very professional. Very, very pleased so far. And Tabitha enjoyed her fresh bone. 
Yes. So. Well, that is going to be the end of this vlog. By the way, if you haven't figured it out, we've kind of stopped the road back. What we're going to do is we're going to keep eating the way you've been seeing us eat. We're going to yeah. vlog a lot of our food. And then when we have a plan to try something that we haven't yet tried, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we let you guys know. Though. Like today, we'll alert you. we're going to try this. But instead of doing like another 20 videos of the road back, we're just going to do our vlog. It is December. Something Th new. This is the time where... The whole object of this month is just stay keto. Ho, ho, ho. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which you're going to find right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we wear a goofy hat, you'll be alerted to it. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Bye.